What is going on? You are listening to episode 259 of the Nintendo PowerCast. I'm your host, N64 Josh, player two, Nightcrawler. What's up, dude? Hey, how's it going? And it's Crawl coming at you. That's right, that's right. And he's coming at us on episode 259, not 260, not 258 twice. Poor 256 got skipped. Thanks. Crawler shows up and he's like, dude, 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 dude. Gotta you have know, that producer. You know, that producer cred, right? There. You, you know, you skipped some numbers, and I was like, "What? What? I skipped some numbers." I was even, I was looking, I was trying to check stuff. Yeah, I, bl I blew it. So, crawler shows up. He's like, "It's two fifty nine. I was like, "Okay, okay, you know what's up." So, there you go, guys. That music you just heard was from On Being Human. You can check them out on Spotify and YouTube. And if you want to get yourself a free book from Audible, head on over to n64josh.com/audible and pick up my book for free it's called another castle if you're dealing with depression you're dealing with wanting to maybe take the next step in life or take a take a step that you haven't taken yet check out my book another castle n64josh.com slash audible i read it to you you get to hear my voice read it to you all right we all, we all got extra time there's no nhl no nba no ncaa no no baseball coming so you that's, got time that's true if you want to read it during this time if you want to spend some time reading the words i wrote n64josh.com slash another castle you can get the paperback that's all over the world thank you amazon and if you want to sit in a comfortable chair while you read head on over to op seat that's n64josh.com slash op seat chairs are 20 dollars off right now save an extra 10 by using my link n64josh.com slash op seat free shipping you won't regret it. They're great gaming chairs. One day Crawler's gonna have one, and he'll be able to mine, tell you. Mine keeps mine keeps dropping out on me, and I go down. So I I, I am I, I'm getting close. There you go. There you go. <laughs> there you go. That's what I'm talking about. So, uh, with that, let's jump on over to the announcements. Hey, listen. Okay, guys, we are slowly, slowly, slowly building the team of writers. The writers are slowly growing. Nick Lopez got to give give a shout out to Nick. He got an article up today talking about some 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 games to get comfy and cozy with with the, the switch right now in 2020 so that article is live right now we've had a number of other articles from from different uh, uh different team members and it's a, it's a little bit of a process so just bear with me as i'm, I'm kind of just slowly helping people get on board and get their emails signed up and everything but if you're interested and you still want to do it and i've seen a lot of the emails i've responded to some and whatnot the best thing to do is jump in the Discord, n64josh.com slash Discord, and ping me. I'll throw you into the writers group that we have in the Discord, and uh, you can we can we can get the ball get the ball rolling from there. Okay. And um, speak speaking of Discord, I know I'm gonna shout out. I think it's Pitt put it together, and I, Pudding maybe was involved as well. Colt. But there's a new Colt. Okay. There's a new group in the Discord called uh, Game Club, and right now they are working on playing through uh link to the past as a group and there's going to be kind of checkpoints to set and reach by the end of the week and then there's going to be discussion happening in that discord channel so if you're looking to play through some of those classic games that you have on nintendo uh nintendo online uh go ahead and hit that up in the discord and you can join that group that's awesome very cool thank you so much pit and colt and whoever else is involved with that getting set up we do really really appreciate it that's awesome that's awesome uh oh sepia 2029 says you just broke the first two <laughs> rules of game club by mentioning it well shucks shucks so uh we are of course doing this live on twitch.tv slash n64 josh if you guys want to come check out a live episode or when when the streams there should be some more streams happening in april i think i keep saying this but it's just yeah just life's a little crazy right now trying to uh trying to figure some things out but uh it's it's all going down it's all going down let's talk about what we've been playing okay crawler come on now Tell me you've been playing some Nintendo games. I know Call of Duty Warzone's out. I know that you've been out. escaping Tarkov or whatever. It's, so some stuff has pulled me away from Tarkov. I will, I'll, I'll give it that. Um, Mario Day. I don't, I don't know if I actually started playing Odyssey again on Mario Day or not, but my my six year old is down here and he he was really bothering me to uh, to pull out Odyssey again. So we we did that and we went around and I actually did find I think at least four or five different moons that I haven't done uh yet i mean i'm at i think i'm sitting at like 740 moons done so i haven't maxed out the odyssey uh but i i kind of been 
just scouring around uh, the Mushroom Kingdom, going through and redoing those boss fights, which is actually pretty fun. So some of them I've done. You get like three moons, I think, if you rebeat the bosses. So a um, few more to still go around and do that. But th that's kind of what I've been playing on Switch. I did, since the last time I was on here, I did get my uh, the, the Super Nintendo controllers went back up online. And so I have two of those, and I've, I opened one up today and was taking a look. It feels really good. It feels strong, like a, a good quality Nintendo product. So I was holding that in my hands. And I mean, it feels very similar to the 8-Bit Do, but, or 8-Bit Do, however we say it. And uh, But it's it's good to have a nice Super Nintendo controller that I, that I can use as well. Um, and then second secondarily, uh, the uh, Xbox started the... Uh, the ios beta for xcloud streaming okay and i think like just seeing that work and it's, it's right now it's only uh master chief collection but i think seeing that work on on my phone and the quality that it can be it, it is kind of hit or miss sometimes but i think that is that could be a future for the switch and or any other screen it could just be any screen mm -hmm. and just a better potential future to get to get those games that we've been kind of asking for with with forza or halo or anything else that that xbox has to offer uh, i think that that'd be a really cool feature that we can hopefully look forward to here in the the coming months oh yes please yes please bring me bring me master chief bring it bring it that's cool. Guys, I've been playing some Odyssey as well. Um, I do want to let you guys know there's a video up on my channel right now where I was in Gameworks playing. Um, Caitlin Burton and I actually got to uh, record some stuff for Gameworks. We, we played uh, a handful of different games, and it, it was a really good time. It was a really good time. Go check out the video. They, they, have, they do Mario Week. Right, which we're going to talk about later in our talking points, or Mario Day, I'm sorry, March 10th. But they do it for a week. They have different food that they serve. Like they had a plumber's meatball sandwich and a special drink for Peach and like a Yoshi milkshake. Like, yeah, it was lots of lots of cool stuff. And uh, hooked, hooked us up with like Mario sunglasses with like a hat and a mustache that were dangling from... <laughs> uh, so... It was uh, it was it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. It was a good time. So so played played that, and then uh, I did play some Odyssey. I played some Odyssey yesterday, and I went to the moon. I went to the moon and started collecting some more moons. So front side or dark side or darker side? I think just the moon. Okay. Is that that does the moon? So it's been so long. Does the moon unlock after you beat the game? So dark side unlocks it. So the moon is where the the chapel is that you do the final Bowser fight. Oh, it wasn't there. It wasn't there. Okay, so dark. So you were on like darker side then. It wasn't darker side. I don't think. Or the so dark side. It was harder stuff though. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some good like scarecrow rooms that take away Cappy and and there's there's some challenging stuff back there. That's where probably most of my moons are still oh, okay. there for me to go get. Got and it also is like the gravity stuff, and so that's that's kind of what adds to that challenge. Mm -hmm. Spoilers, Henny. It's been how long has it been? Now? October of uh, sixteen, or no, <laughs> October of uh, seventeen, right? <laughs> Don't worry, we did not spoil anything super awesome. You've got so much to look forward to in that game still. Just make sure you beat it. Like get get to the final <clears throat> the final boss fight. You got to do it. It's so good, it's so good. Okay, so what else have we been playing? Um, played some, but pl okay. Mario Kart tour had Mario brothers tour, right? That's kind of what I was waiting for. I was like, okay, I'll do my trial when that comes out. So I spent some time playing Mario Kart tour. I still haven't tried the multiplayer. I know game. I was talking to Andre from game explain. He did. He actually streamed the multiplayer. And, uh, so that, you know, that that's out. I haven't. Well, yeah, because it's like a, now it's supposed to be actual live people that you're playing against now. I guess they they turned on real multiplayer instead of just bots. Exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah so I think with up to eight people. So that's 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 kind of cool. It's still Mario Kart Tour, right? So you're still dealing with the wonky controls. You know, it's 
it, it I don't know. It's okay. I got a few days left on my on my on my two week trial before I before I cancel it. Right. Cause well, I you have... can go, you, you can go in and pre cancel it and it'll just end when your, your time's up. Excellent. So, so yeah, you don't forget. I got to do that. I got to do that. Uh, so, but been playing that. And I mean, we're going to have a discussion about that game and Mario Kart in the very near future, but they do some sweet things in that game that I really hope make their way into Mario Kart 9. I really hope they make their way to Mario Kart 9. So, but doing that, I actually picked up Pocket Camp because they've got a new Horizons thing going on right now where you can do some the fishing tournament. Um, I spent very little time in that. I just, I don't have a ton of time for these mobile games, but uh, if, if, you know, it's, it's nice to just kind of have something to pick up and, and mess around with for a few minutes here and there. So I uh, played that. The, I picked up Soul Calibur 2 for GameCube that has link that, in it i was just say that one's the one that has the that was all the all three playstation xbox and gamecube all had different uh yes. promotional characters right yes xbox had spawn so um yeah chat's like that's an old one yes it is yes it is well played a bunch of strikers with with andre and Man, the GameCube just there's so many great titles on the GameCube, you know? Like so yeah. many great titles. So Strikers Strikers is primed to come back. I hope I hope that's this year. Yeah, and that game is so like it's so I it, it there's stuff that would not fly in 2020 that is in that game. That I'm surprised like it, it got past the Nintendo Ninjas, honestly. Like like Daisy, like like touching her her butt cheek and going like, you know, things like this. I was like, whoa! Rated, rated E for everyone. Whoa! <laughs> what is happening? Like Waldo, like Waldoigi, like doing like the WWE, like both hands hitting near your near your uh, your pelvic section. You know, like when he scores a goal on you. I was like. <laughs> Wow. He tells you to suck it? Did, wow. Did Waluigi just <laughs> just say that? What is happening right now? Wow. That is that is uh, some risque Nintendo from it, what what year would that have been? That would have been like 2001? 2003. It's like, oh, so racy. <laughs> <laughs> True. True. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, but jumped in to a game that I really, really, really want to showcase and let you guys know about. It was a game that I didn't know about. Andre introduced it to me a few a few weeks ago. It's called Heave Ho. And if you've got people to play multiplayer yeah, games with... It's a Devolver game, right? It, it's a Devolver digital game. Like, I've never seen people laugh so hard... At a game. Every time I've played this game, it has been nothing but laughs. People like poking fun at each other because somebody can't seem to complete a mission or get to the 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 the, the checkpoint or whatever it is. Not really checkpoints, you just have to get to the goal. But people laughing so hard they're almost crying. Like it's it's really worth checking out. Even if you only have one other person to play with, it's worth checking out. Yeah, that was one I I thought about picking up on Steam when Steam introduced the like, it's a kind of a couch co-op via online thing that Steam offered, and that's one of the games that qualifies for that. Oh, okay. So I thought about picking that up, but I I haven't yet. But it, it's on Steam. It's on, it's on Switch. I don't know if it's on anything else, but it is. It's at least on PC and Switch. So it, and it it did look interesting when it came out. And I was kind of disappointed to see that it is only local, but. I mean, it looks like it can be very fun if you have the people to play. It is local, but it is solo also. You can play through puzzles by yourself. Oh, okay. So, so don't don't think that's just multiplayer. There is, a, and it's only ten bucks. I say, and I think I've seen it on sales low as like six bucks sometimes. It wouldn't surprise me. It wouldn't surprise me at all. So, stellar title. Highly recommend checking it out. Like, can't recommend it enough. Actually, really, really great yeah. party game. So, and it's included. I have, I got two, that I have, article I've, I'm trying to finish too. The I have uh, games, so. two new games that I picked up as well that I haven't had gotten to spend a lot of time with. I picked up uh, Risk of Rain when it was on Risk of Rain Two when it was on sale. Okay. And uh, Balfaris, I think, is what it's called, but it's a it's a Metroidvania uh, like Hard Rock. I think I told you about this a little while ago. That it was something that I think you would enjoy just with the the soundtrack. And, cool. and your love of metroidvanias yeah so it's two games that i have and i've i've updated them and i have them on my switch i just haven't spent spent a lot of time playing them yet 
cool. But I, I think a few other people in Discord have Risk of Rain, so I think we maybe need to get some some time together to uh, to sit down and play it a little bit. Cool, cool. I just spent a little time with the Switch Lite, just getting the cloud backup figured out with like Mario Kart and things like that. And, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's all pretty 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 straightforward if you have a second account and you want to mess around with the. Uh... Is that pretty seamless for you with like the cloud backup if on on games that work with that? It seems like it. It seems like I haven't messed with a lot of them. Mario Kart, I didn't have it turned on. So that's where I was running into an issue. And then it wanted to save from what I started, which was brand new. And I was mm. like, eek, don't do that. That would have... Uh, that <laughs> don't overwrite my VR. Yeah, please, please no. So, so yeah, that, uh, that's that's been... I've been playing, you know, playing, I played a bunch of Smash today. And uh, still, that was that's still such a fun, such a fun game. Such a fun game. Playing a little Luigi's Mansion here and there as well, and that's been, that's been, that's been pretty cool. Also, really, that's, that's it, would really you, would you say the ten the ten bucks is worth it for that? For the multiplayer? Yeah. Oh, absolutely, okay. absolutely. The two. If you guys watched the video I did with Game Explain with uh, Andre from Game Explain, like it was, it it we had a blast. We had is, a blast. Is screen part? I know because I've done Scare Tower with some people in Discord, and I've also done it with some random people as well, just the just matchmaking randomly. But does does Scare Park? Can you do that online with friends, or is that only local? So the the, the mini game stuff. The mini game is just local. The okay. the what is it? Scream Tower or something like that? Or Scare, Scare, Scare Tower? Tower is the the yeah you go through yeah. and play as Gooluigi and Luigi to try to find ghosts and money and and advance up the tower right 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 right. yeah so that's the only online one but uh yeah okay. yeah but yeah again if you got people to play with now we did it with three of us if you guys go back and watch that 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 dlc there was only three of us and so it made it like it made it a little if you had the fourth or the up to eight people i believe is what mm -hmm. it can be it would be pure pandemonium but you better have a lot of joy cons that's all i'm saying is there is there asymmetrical games in that or is it all kind of free for all or is it a mix well, is, it, is it kind of like mario party a little bit uh, it 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 still worked like we did dodgeball two versus one and 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 andre was still able to like it was mainly like caitlin and i versus andre for most of the video and so he was able to take most of the most to win most of the the rounds uh, but I think in some cases it was because he had more targets. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah. I also think he uses hacks if, if he's, if he's listening, <laughs> um, I think he uses hacks and he's the only one with a pro controller. We had to use the joy con sideways. So that's you your know. fault for not packing your, your, well, pro I did, controller in your I did pack it. We couldn't get it to pair. We were in a rush. So, it was it was with me it just sat yeah but andre definitely cheats at all video games make sure if you tweet at him just say at n64 josh says you cheat especially at mario kart make sure you guys tweet at him okay that's uh, at andre sagers okay uh yeah also go follow him because he's rad he's rad so um with that i think we could jump on over to the news This is your week, man. Da -da. Animal Crossing New Horizon Famitsu Review, 38 out of 40. Two reviewers gave it a 9 and two gave it a 10. Two gave it a 10. Now, I've had the inside scoop on this game for a little bit. Um, and, uh, yeah, it looks... The more I've seen it played, the more I'm excited to... Uh, the more excited to jump in. That's for sure. That's for sure. Our, the first reviews are up. It's looking good. It's not perfect. It's not perfect, but uh, I'm I'm expecting good things. I'm I'm expecting good things. So, is your is your uh, bundle coming from Amazon? Is I that? Don't, yeah. 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 One of them is. <laughs> how how many do you have ordered? <laughs> Let's just say I have a friend who's like, hey, just. I got, he let me know how many they have. And he's like, just let me know. Let me know how many you need. I'll put some in the back for you before you come up. <laughs> so it's more of a precautionary thing to make sure Amazon doesn't flake. 
so the the other one might the 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 amazon order may end up getting canceled it's just more of a precaution you know to make sure we got at least one so um yeah 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 so uh yeah but 30 out of 40 where are you at where's your where's your uh where's your hype level it, where's my hype level i'm 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 just wa I'm waiting for it. I'm I'm gonna play it. I'm excited to play it. I've kind of stayed in the dark a little bit about it. Uh, I mean, I did watch the the direct. What was that? Three weeks ago. Is that when it was? I think At about least that long. long. Maybe longer. Now. Um. So yeah, I mean, I'm excited to like terraform the island a little bit, make it your own. I, I know a lot of people. I think initial reactions, at least in, in your Discord and, and some other stuff I saw online, didn't like the Minecraftiness of it all. Um, but I'm, I'm excited to play it, and I think the biggest thing for me is utilizing the Discord as a learning tool to to kind of learn what the ins and outs kind of, of this franchise. Because I've played a little bit of New Leaf, but you made it easy for me by dropping a million bells at my feet. And so that, that kind of expedited what I was doing. And then I kind of fell off playing it a little bit. So it, I'm, I'm excited. Coming at you. <laughs> so, I mean, it's, uh, I'm excited, but, but it's, it's kind of going in with blind excitement, I guess. So I don't have really any expectations. I got you. I got you. Yeah. I'm like, at, at first I was like, for a little bit there, I was like, "Ah, oh, you know, I don't know if this is gonna have enough new stuff. It's gonna get me excited." It, I'm, I'm all aboard the hype train. I'm all aboard. So, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited to jump in. Um, everybody at the house is really excited to jump in. Kids are really excited. Like everybody's really excited to, uh, to jump in for this one. So, uh, so, uh, I, I looked at a little bit of stuff from PAX this last week, or was that week and a half, where however long ago that was the i'm kind of hearing mixed stuff about how multiplayer goes and it's kind of this you're just i don't know if it was the at the pax demo it was just uh the play the other players that were playing follow the follow the leader weren't leveled up enough or they didn't have the tools in their pocket enough to 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 move around but it's kind of like you teleport to whoever's the leader whoever's island it is or whatever mm -hmm. so it's not it's not as much of a fun interaction experience it's kind of just a here's my island let's walk around a little bit but i i don't know for for sure that's Do, from have my you looked at any of the pack stuff from my understanding that's only local that's if you're doing local multiplayer okay right? so online if it's anything like if it's anything like New Leaf, which I'm assuming it's going to be, if you come to my town, you go wherever you want. We have control. Okay. Yeah. That's you might you, actually you might even be able to set the rules as the owner of your island. You might be able to say, "No, I don't want them to have control and they have to play follow the leader or something like that." But I don't I mean, if, who knows? If it's like if it's like New Leaf, if you and I aren't best friends in game, like if I don't click the button, you aren't allowed mm -hmm. to make modifications to my island. Like you can't cut trees down, you can't pull flowers, none of that stuff. So I can still run and ruin your flowers though. I I don't I don't know if we're not best friends. I don't know if okay. you can affect the flowers. So um, I just don't remember. But so yeah, it's not it's it's not something that um, I, I'm not super worried about because I don't know like. Yeah, if you're having to play local multiplayer, I it's not going to be. I'll just come right out and say it. It's not going to be fun. <laughs> okay. Like it's it's not like there's no there's no way, there's no way. It's like let me yeah, take you it's on trying a tour. To, it's trying to keep everybody on that screen. Yep. I think for the mm -hmm. most part, and they're not having a lot of control. It's kind of just you're existing there and you're you're teleporting in and out and yeah. Dude, I've seen relationships being ruined because of this on Reddit. What, with need, needing multiple switches and all that kind of stuff? Like, the this girlfriend was like, hey, I'm not really into the game or into gaming, but I am all of a sudden excited about Animal Crossing. Boyfriend's like, well, good for you, but you're not playing on my island. Like, you're not going to – you're not going to put the – like, you're not going to move my museum or, you know, like – yeah. buy the clothes better go, i want better go find 200 bucks and get a switch light 
<laughs> I think she's gonna find a new boyfriend. Like, yeah, yeah he was, he he was. I don't know. He could have handled it a little bit better. He posted it on Reddit, and then <laughs> it was not a good. Like, you probably want to remove that if you're listening. You're probably not, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, not not. To, yeah, AC is serious business, and it is. Like, switch light sales will surge. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Oh, that's probably a ploy to get more switch lights to sell. That's why you can only have one town, one one island per switch. You never know. You never know. So, yeah, but. But I think it was. I think it was uh, carbon. I think it was uh, from that from that subreddit. So <laughs> Josh go. won't say it. There you go. I, I knew. I think I knew what what it was. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, moving on from Animal Crossing. I'm glad to hear that it's got a 38 out of 40. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. But moving on from Animal Crossing, and I believe what's the date today? I think the this, this was this morning. I think review embargoes are up on the sixteenth. Oh. I think sixteenth or seventeenth. I think uh, that would be Wednesday. So Tuesday or Wednesday, maybe. I think I think that's I think that's the case. So um, we'll we'll have some some more reviews dropping then for sure. Lego and Nintendo team up for one of the most crazy Lego sets I've ever seen. Right? It's an interactive Lego set that you create the level for Mario, then you play through it with the figure. The Mario figure has a screen and speakers. You gotta turn the little switch on so that he comes to life. It sounds like they got uh, Charles to do the voices and all this stuff. And you're you're stomping Goombas, you're 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 going you're running against time, you gotta get to the flag, you're fighting Bowser Jr. I don't know, did you show this to Will? Uh, I haven't yet. I did text my wife the video because I was at work this morning when I came out and I was like, eh, it's right up William's alley. Wink, wink. Like, I want this, but I'm going <laughs> to I'm, I'm going to I'm going to sell this as, <laughs> as it's for my son, just like the uh, the Mario Kart uh, Hot Wheels track upstairs right. was, was birthday gift for him. That was originally actually supposed to be for a birthday gift for me. <laughs> so That's awesome. It got moved when he saw it and wanted it all. So. Um, but yeah, it's it, the the stuff that that's coming out. The, the partnerships with Hot Wheels and Lego is is really cool. This is it's it's larger than any normal. It's it's not quite Duplo size blocks, but it's it's larger than the standard Legos. And uh, like Josh said, it has it has a power switch on the back of this Mario thing, and it it has NFC kind of stuff to realize if you're stomping on a Goomba or in a pipe or stepping on the 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 end pole flag um so it's it looks really cool and it you can kind of design your own and it has um castle music built in there as well on different pieces and and the time like the timer starts and has a speed up the speed up music and all that kind of stuff so it, it looks really cool yeah yeah it was it i mean again it looked like it would be a cool set piece in my like in my collection or something but not something I would probably necessarily open up and, and try out. Who knows? May make for an interesting stream or some YouTube content, maybe. But uh, uh, and I didn't see a price, so who knows how much this is actually going to cost too? Because it's got got computer p components in it, so it if I know Lego up. and I know Nintendo, this thing is going to be at a premium. Yeah, it's going to be at a premium. Yep. And so you know that's cool. They had to do something with all those uh, all those NFC chips from Amiibo they quit making. <laughs> <laughs> right, they had to go somewhere. They had to go somewhere. So E3 canceled. Nintendo responds. Here's what they say. Nintendo supports the ESA's, the ESA's decision to cancel this year's E3 to help protect the health and safety of everyone in our industry, our fans, our employees, our exhibitors, and our longtime E3 partners. We would like to express our concern and support for all those affected by the corona virus the outbreak during this challenging time we'll continue to be flexible and redirect our efforts to other ways of keeping our fans up to date with our activities and products because of the outbreak large industry events may be unattendable uh, for the foreseeable future but we are considering various ways to engage with our fans and we'll have more to share as the year continues so yeah everything's getting canceled i like south by southwest game game developers conference was postponed i think right now but it's probably eventually just going to be canceled and have like e-seminars or something like that 
we got that GDC's canceled. And then like most employees are trying, like a lot of companies are now trying to turn this into an online thing. And then they're telling everybody to go work from home. And so it's becoming quite a, you know, quite a nightmare for a lot of these people. So, uh, shout out to you guys that are trying to get this stuff figured out and, uh, hopefully, hopefully it all works out. I wonder if this is kind of the nail in the coffin for the ESA like Sony pulling out last year and then continuing to stay out this year. And now Microsoft having to come up with an option for a digital delivery of, of what used to be their in-person conference. Nintendo doesn't have to change much minus the fact that they don't get to showcase and have their like set piece on the show floor. They, they kind of have the biggest presence that's, in what is it west hall or whatever that that really show shows that piece that they want to like really highlight that year um but i think the the big three are fine with this i think what what hurts the most is the the indie devs and the smaller the smaller teams that are trying to get out there and and get that main that mainstream media attention so that they can uh they can just get that press because this is the one time a year that uh usa today and, and newsweek and some of those other outlets that don't normally cover video games come and and pay attention at least and so the big three are fine but the the smaller the smaller devs are going to suffer a little bit i think for that yeah it's uh jason schreier tweeted out like the you know i'm let's see you know, it's an older tweet, so I probably won't be able to find it now. It's a couple of days old, but he's talking about that very thing where it's like, we, you, you know, like, yeah, we, it sucks that we get, we can't go and, and, and participate in this kind of thing, but there's so many meetings and everything that take, that takes place there. Like so much business takes place mm -hmm. upstairs know. in those, those, those closed door meetings that they have that, and uh, also as well, I was talking about this on discord on I, either the day before it was canceled when we were kind of speculating that it might uh, or the rumor had broken uh, online, but like Target and Best Buy and Walmart and all those like big buying executives, like the, the buyers for those companies um, come and they gauge the show, the show floor and, and they take meetings with, with some of those uh, developers and, and other publishers and stuff. And they, they place orders for, for the, for the fall. And the holiday season that that really drives up all that kind of hype towards uh black friday so that's kind of a big sales uh show for a lot of those companies to pitch the brick and mortars at least to carry their game and, and like how many copies they're going to purchase right right yeah so there's you know it there's there, there's definitely gonna be a ripple effect to this and it's and it's really unfortunate and I mean, all of it is right. I'm, I don't want to, it's not just gaming. Like the, like everything's been affected by this thing and it, it, mm. it's, 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 it's super sad. So, um, stay healthy out there. Keep your, keep your hands clean, all that yeah. stuff. But, uh, yeah. Uh, one more thing about the coronavirus, and it's funny you added this. I talked to a guy at reset games yesterday about this and there's a shortage of ring fit adventure as more people look to avoid the gym i guess in china is where this started they flew off the shelves and they couldn't they couldn't keep up with the demand so is it happening here in the states also i see you put the you put this uh article. the wired.com uh article that i have linked here i think talks to somebody in la or or california arizona somewhere and like the closest copy that he found when he was searching on like target was in dallas so yeah i think it is is some stuff in the u.s i haven't been into a brick and mortar in a little while back in the, the video game section looking at anything but um maybe i'll poke around on friday when i go next friday when i go pick up uh animal crossing next week and hmm. see just see if it's any copies there huh, interesting interesting yeah i mean i've been i'm like do i keep going to the gym <laughs> you know like I don't, it's, it's yeah. my, my rec centers are getting ready to close, I think after tomorrow. So, um, I might, I might start doing this a little bit. Yeah. I, I have, I have one upstairs so I, I can do it and I just need to make sure I wake up early enough and just do it. Right, right, right. Hmm. 
All right. Well, hey, let's jump on over to our talking point, which is going to be some Mario Day celebrations. Here we go. All right. So like I said, I recorded that video for GameWorks on Mario Day. I talked about having to play Mario Kart, which I did. I played some of the arcade machine. I played some of uh, Mario Kart 8 at the eSports Lounge there at GameWorks. And uh, and so, Crawler, I'm going to ask you. What what are the games? What's the what's the Mario game that you would have to play or that you did play on Mario Day? Uh, I mean, Odyssey is is something that I I hadn't been back to in a while, so it was good that William wanted to play it a little bit, and we sat down and did that. Um, I think when it came down to the 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 game club, I think I voted for Super Mario World as as my top choice. Or it might have been second behind Link to the Past, mm. but uh, Super Mario World is is my go-to. I think as favorite favorite Mario game. Just I think it goes back to I didn't own an like my own NES. I played at friends' houses and stuff. And Super Nintendo was the first console I owned, and that was a packing game that came with it. So it was it was uh, it was the game I had, and it was the first Mar like Mario game that I owned, and and beating that and going going through star road and all that kind of stuff i just i love super mario world yeah it's a good one it's a good one for sure that uh that was one of the the, the one of the questions i think i don't even know if those questions made it into the extended cut i mean you guys may end up seeing like a uh, like a short another short little video where i kind of just go into some different uh different different questions real long answers on um, what's my favorite 2d Mario and things like that. And so, um, I may get that up on, up on YouTube in the next couple days here, but like, uh, yeah, super Mario, super Mario world. It's probably, probably going to take the cake for the, it's tough with Mario three, Mario three is right there. Mm -hmm. Right. And especially that version you get on the GBA or that you can get on the Wii U that's from the GBA that has all the extra levels that were on the e-card reader. That's a pretty, that's a pretty stellar version as well. So yeah, it's tough it's tough but i saw i saw a really great i don't know if it was a, just a meme or it was a funny like kind of just anecdote on twitter the other day it was like uh you, therapist asking you where your anxiety starts and it it showed uh it showed the match three game yeah from the first uh toad toad house on, on uh on mario three it's like yes. that's where my anxiety started <laughs> <laughs> love it love it love it love it i'm gonna ask chat chat tell me what game you have to play on mario day what's the mario game you have to play i got some comments from the website n64josh.com i put up an article talking about how mario 2 i've talked about this many times mario 2 is one of those games that i just uh i always look back on fondly because of my uh my close friend who who passed away at 19 we that was the game we played as kids you know it was the game we were hyped about and like that we kind of we connected on super mario brothers and so super mario brothers 2 was like it was such a huge deal for us at that time and and so i can all anytime i see that artwork i just it's it's always it always just uh hits me right in the feels so and uh, do, do you still play that game once a year i, I, did I know you had mentioned that in the, in the in the past yeah i usually i usually i usually will play it I, I try to play through it to completion. Um, I haven't yet this year, but uh, um, the year's, the year's still, still early, so so who knows. It uh, looks like chat here. We got Delmonic saying Mario World 64. Tadawaka says Dr. Mario is missing. I don't even know what that is. Um, we could really use him right now. Yes, we could. Uh, <laughs> Kill those says, viruses. Yeah, Super Mario World and Mario RPG are still my go-to Mario games. Mario 3 is still good, too. There we go. There's some good good choices. So jumping onto the website here from the comment section of my article, Patrick Murphy says, hmm, probably watching Super Mario Bros. The question was, what's your fondest Mario memory? Um, so growing up, uh, growing up as a little younger, listening to the audiobook of Super Mario, how Nintendo conquered America with a friend while on a road trip from Chicago to Denver. And of course, of course... Inhaling Josh's Mario as DDD off stage on stream. Let's go. Those are his most fondest Mario memories. So thank you for that. <laughs> Patrick Murphy. Thank you. Thank you. Delmonic says my fondest Mario memory would be receiving my Nintendo 64 on Christmas Day with a copy of Super Mario 64 from my sister. 
hooked it up that night and took turns with my sister back and forth, eventually came to the agreement of, we'll switch players once someone gets a game over, to have a bit longer play session between each person. Needless to say, I never, I never got, or they never got another turn after me that <laughs> night. Well played. Well played. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Uh, Blitzkrieg says I'm literally rolling credits on Super Mario World right now. Love it. That's so great. Delmonic says, how can we forget Mario Sunshine? Andre would be real upset if we didn't mention it. <laughs> that's that's true. That's true. He loves that game. He loves that game. Sun so. Sunshine is one I want to come down. It's such an expensive GameCube game still. Um, I played it at a friend's house. I never owned a proper just solo GameCube. So I have my Wii that I can play some GameCube games. But um, those... those uh, those challenge rooms for the I think it was red coin rooms that you did without flood that had the acapella Mario music that was so good that was always part of my favorite part of part of that game yeah it was basically the best part like those were the best parts of sunshine I thought like flood was fine but those and that's basically what Mario sunshine became was the, the and that was just refined it was refined camera work from what they had started in 64 and it it because it was moving a lot of it was in that 3D space that the camera had to rotate around as you went back the way you came, and mm. it was mm. it was really good. Yeah, good stuff, good stuff for sure. So oh, we, we need that remaster on on Switch. Bring it, bring it. It's, it's a good year for it. It's a good year for it. It we got. I mean, the direct's got to be happening soon. It's, it's <laughs> gotta be. We're in a, we're in such a drought right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's gotta be a gotta be a direct soon. So, you know fingers crossed but yeah mario day what a blast had a blast on march 10th lots of good stuff don't forget levi's and mario teamed up levi's and nintendo teamed up for some outfits straight out of the 90s you get these high-waisted like as my daughter calls them mom jeans and uh you can also get some overalls that have little coins on did you see these you see the article i, I haven't i haven't seen this i it, is it in the art, article section of the discord yep it is. Okay, I'll it have is. to go back and look at that. Um, you can also just look up a Levi's tweet, but if you go to n64josh.com, it's probably three or four articles back, and you'll see, you'll see these Levi's like the the jean jacket's not. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. The uh, the jeans themselves have so much Mario print on them. It's like basically kind of like your T-shirt right now, which has some Mario Kart stuff on it, but just everywhere. With, and they're white jeans with just Mario stuff everywhere. Oh, wow. So straight 90s stuff. It, dude, it is. It is. <laughs> yeah. It is straight 90s. So, you know. But they launched that on, on Mario Day, which I thought was cool. Nintendo had a couple of sales. I think they're still going, but they're kind of weak sauce. There's nothing. Yeah, Brick, brick and Mortars had most of the games knocked down to 40, I think. And I think the eShop had some sales, too. Yeah, it was like Mario Party. Mario Maker 2 was 33% off, I think, or something like that. So... Um, yeah, so I had full of games, but hey, I think that's going to do it. Crawler, where can people find you? We've been mentioning it all show, but you can come find find me hanging out in the Discord. Uh, tag me. I'll, I'll play. I got Risk of Rain 2. I got other other games to play. I'm looking for Call of Duty, that kind of stuff. So hit me up, and uh, you guys can check me out there. All right, guys, you can follow me everywhere at N64Josh, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, TikTok, all the places, okay? All the places. You can follow the NPC at NPowerCast on Twitter. Show notes for this episode are going to be available at N64Josh.com slash NPC259. Hopefully, I don't think I used that one yet. I don't think. We'll find out. We'll find out, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. You can email the show. You got questions, comments, concerns, npc at n64josh.com. If you want to get yourself a free book from Audible, go pick up my book, Another Castle. You got some free time right now, working from home maybe, whatever. n64josh.com slash audible. You can listen to it. You can also go to n64josh.com slash another castle just to get the paperback. All right. The chair I'm sitting in from OPC n64josh.com slash opc chairs are twenty dollars off that link gets you an extra 10 plus free shipping it's time for you to sit comfortably while you play your switch in an opc okay that's all i'm gonna say guys i do have a patreon if you want to help support me there patreon.com slash n64josh and of course if you go to n64josh.com slash store go get some t-shirts 
Go get some N64 Josh t-shirts. There's all kinds of stuff on there from, from Just Roll if you need advice in Smash to Hello Darkness, my old friend with the spiny shell from Mario Kart coming right at you. So there you go. You need a throw with my avatar on it? I got you covered. Maybe you've got a maybe you got a, a little baby. You want him to wear a onesie that has N64 Josh on it? N64josh.com slash store. Go find it. You got the yoga pants going? Sepia, I do. There's yoga pants. There's <laughs> leggings. Sepia2029 says I need a roll of toilet paper. Toilet paper. Wow. <laughs> with my with my avatar on it. Thanks, friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, friend. You gotta get Sepia on the show sometime. Um Let's see here. Like Crawler said, the Discord, n64josh.com slash Discord coming out. We also have a Facebook group, n64josh.com slash Facebook group. And I haven't asked you guys to do this in forever, but if you have a second, you can rate and review on iTunes. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, shout out to the one person that listens to this show on a Zoom. Yeah, that's right. I can see every kind of device that gets used to listening to listen to this so, show. Star Lord, Star Lord is listening to the show. Oh, so, Star Lord! Shout out to you for listening to the show on the Zoom. We love you guys. See you later. Bye now. <laughs>